So we're getting a little creative today, and I want you guys to know, welcome back to the What's up guys, going from the ring to the pool now and I'm going to teach you on how to increase your speed whether you do MMA, boxing or any contact sport you can utilize the water for your resistance to pick up your speed and your strength and that's what I'm going to teach you today Boom. So the first thing you want to do the same thing that we take in the gym into the boxing area what do we always start with? A warm up. So, I'm gonna show you a warm up that's gonna be able to start you off really well. And you're gonna go to one side of the pool, all right? And if you see the other side of the pool, that's where you need to go, all right? You get, you're gonna do a light run across with your knees up, all right? And as you go, pretend like you're running, all right? Bring those knees up, on your toes, on your toes, everything light. Same thing I always explain in my other videos about footwork. Light, 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 hands up, all right? I'm gonna go across. You're gonna do this at least once, twice, you're gonna do it 12 times, all right? And as we're doing it, we're gonna add a little hook, all right? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Use your shoulders, keep it real relaxed, and keep running. And you'll feel the current against your knees and your legs, and it's gonna pull resistance on you. And at the same time, I want you to work your shoulders, your traps, your legs, your hips. You're basically using your whole body. All right. We're gonna get a full body workout, but at the same time, we're gonna increase that speed. We're gonna in increase that power as well. Now, this is training I've been doing since I was 14 years old. And it's worked for me. It's worked to increase everything as far as, even my cardio as well, which is really important. So the benefits to this is, you get speed, you get power, you increase your cardio, and you also change your routine in your training. So it breaks it up from always going to the gym. At least you can do something different that no one else does. So do that for your warm up for 12 laps, and then we need straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna start off with is shadow boxing underwater as your head's up. We'll get into the bit where you take yourself under the water, you hold your breath and you do your, you know, your little freestyle shadow boxing. If you can get your hands on egg weights or 2.5 pound dumbbells, um, it would be great. Essentially, I use them in my classes with, with the boxer crew and I use them for myself. And if you really want to go extreme, you can get yourself the underwater boxing gloves. Um, this, uh, I guess these were a gift, but Boxer will be coming out with these very, very soon. So I'll keep you guys updated. And if you don't have any of these things, anything that we do in the workouts, make sure your hands are flat, all right? So when, when you're underwater and you're doing your unders, the resistance is pushing against you know, your hands and it puts pressure on your shoulders so you're able to get that full workout that you need. But I'm gonna use 2.5 pound dumbbells, all right? So I want you to get in the middle of the water, wherever you are, try and not go too deep, just enough where you can bop your shoulders underwater, your head's out, if you can, try and look to the sky so you make sure that your shoulders are always underwater. I'm in my boxing stance. I'm make sure that I'm sitting in my boxing stance. I got my knife tick underwater, all right? And I'm gonna roll my shoulders real nicely. Keep them relaxed, all right? Roll the punches, roll them, roll them. Keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your hips moving, all right? And just keep it rolling. You're gonna do this for at least a minute, non-stop. All right, and if you want to increase that speed a little bit more, you can. You want to put a little bit more pressure, you can. So you really feel it. So you're going to do it for a minute, and then you're going to transition into doing straight punches. Straight. The thing is, a lot of people, they come up above the water with their shoulders up, that's not giving you that real workout that you need. So you've got to make sure that your whole body's under and your head's just sticking out. All right, I'm looking to the sky. Straight punches, good technique. Do it for a minute. All right, and then back down to unders. You're gonna do it for another minute. All right, and then you're gonna transition and go back to straight punches for another minute. 
I want you to at least do that for two rounds. Two rounds, three minutes. And then put the weights away and then we'll get to the next one. Now we're really gonna get into it and get real intense with it. So we're gonna go towards the deep end a little bit more. I'm gonna place my shoulder back underwater. All right, boxing stance. We're gonna put the cell phone right back to the chin. All right, and I want you to practice throwing the jab out. Now, if you go straight, you're not gonna get that pressure because I'm coming out of the water. Even if you go straight and you're too much on, on, on top of the water, it's still not gonna work. So I want you to sort of hit down, all right? Hit down, keep hitting. And I want you to increase that explosiveness. It's, it, it's like a, um, a piston, all right? So a piston goes forward and back and it doesn't stop. I want you to do that for at least 50 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right? You keep going, you keep throwing that jab out. You don't stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And go as hard as you can. I don't want you doing it light like this. I want you to really push it out like you're jabbing hard. Feel that resistance. All right, once you've done that, I want you to grab it again, put it into your power hand. Whether you're an orthodox or southpaw, you know, your cross is your cross and you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go into my position, so the right hand. I want you to do full motion. So you're gonna go all the way forward. You're gonna bring it all the way back. Your left hand always still goes back, so I still want you to keep your technique. And that's what a lot of people fail to do. Even with me at the beginning with my crew, a lot of them didn't, didn't have their technique and they were just throwing it. No, I want you to really focus on your technique. Bring that left hand up, you got defense, you got offense, and you got to picture it like you're fighting someone, but you're doing it under water. All right? All right, use your hips. Put as much pressure as you can. Hard as you can, hard as you can. I want you to do 50, all the way, all the way. Now, you should be at least able to do 200 on your left side, 200 on your right side, or vice versa. And I want you to do that, and then we're gonna pick it up and go into one twos. So now, I'm gonna go back to the egg weights because most people are gonna be able to have access to weights. So we're gonna go back under, and what you just did with the left hand and the right hand, you're gonna combine it together and do a one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Make sure you got a pause, because we're not just doing straight punches. You're doing a one, two technique. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. I want you to do that for three minutes on the one, two. And then I want you to come over to the shallow end, all right, and do this quick. You're gonna bring your body halfway out of the water into your boxing sense, and I want you to combine. Huh. Jab, right hand, one, two, jab, right hand, one, two, jab, right hand, one, two. So you're gonna combine the jab, the right hand, and the one, two for one round, three minutes. And then, on the last one that I'm gonna show you, we're gonna combine it all and do it underwater, which is my favorite. Guys, another real important note that I wanna put there is that breathing is so, so important. It's essential towards everything that we're doing um, and what I teach you. So I wanna make sure that you inhale really well, you exhale really hard, because every punch counts, and you wanna be able to increase your cardio to a, to a high level by utilizing this, um, this training routine. It's really, really important. So if you can, make sure you breathe, make sure you breathe. And that's just a quick note just to remind you. Now we're gonna go underwater, and I want you to combine your jab, your right hand, your one, two. I want you to take a deep breath before you go under. And if you can, get a timer. Time yourself to see how long you can shadow box underwater. Come back up, breathe for 10 seconds, go back down and time yourself and see how long you can really last underwater shadow boxing. And then after that, you take it outside the pool and you do your freestyle shadow boxing and then go to your gym, put your work in, make it happen. Ten seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Then back to work.
Guys, I want you to make sure that you can at least do this routine four rounds, the whole routine. So whatever that I put in this video, follow it through real well and make sure you do it for at least a minimum of two rounds, but aim to go for four rounds, all right? So I want you guys to subscribe, leave your comments below, and any other water workouts or anything to do with boxing, you let us know and we'll make sure we'll make it happen. Cool.